Find the Discord server. Hey, and welcome back to the Our Opinion Podcast. I'm your co-host, Michael, and I'm here with my two co-hosts, Juan and Terrence. And we also got a special guest, Jason Vargas. No? So, uh, how is it? How are you doing, man? I'm good. How are you guys? Doing okay. good. Okay. Doing good, 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 good. So, uh, let's just talk a little bit about, like, what you do. Um, yeah, so, uh, I'm a musician. Um, I have a band. You know, I'm a band leader, among other things. Um, so, yeah, I play guitar. I sing. Um, I'm in a trio, little rock group. We play blues, funk, soul, you know. Yeah. Little combo of, of it all, I yeah, guess you we could say. Yeah, we were listening to some of your music before. I, yeah. I was fucking with it, low key. Yeah, thank it's you. It's got a nice yeah, vibe. Yeah, thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, we try to keep it, you know, vintage, old school. You know, that's the whole. Yeah, it definitely has that vibe to it. Right, exactly. Sure. That's awesome. Yeah, and that's that's good to hear, too, that, you know. Okay, well, uh, let's talk about, I guess, what why you got into music in the first place. Man, why I got into music? Well, I would say I was never a musical person. I grew up playing sports, actually. I, I played football most of my life. Um, but I've obviously you know, heard music growing up, as everybody does. But uh, to become a musician is one thing I never thought would happen. Like It was, right. very, it was a very... Uh, it, 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 came, it just kind of hit me in this moment, you know. But I started just listening to a... I started with just... Like getting really into rap music and, and really looking deeply at the roots and going into old, old rap um, from like late 80s, early 90s and hearing all this jazz and funk sampled in there. Okay. Um, that was placing roots, uh, planting seeds for me for things I, I, I didn't realize were going to come. But uh, yeah, I heard um, Jimi Hendrix one time in a commercial. Uh, really crazy thing and I never heard music like that before right. ever and it just kind of hit me I was like whoa what the like what was that and I heard it a couple more times before I looked up the song it was a song called Purple Haze um, and that was my <laughs> intro to Jimi Hendrix and just old music and I remember looking at like when this song came out like 1967 I was like, am I doing something wrong <laughs> listening to this music? This is old as hell, like, what's going on? But yeah. that really just opened the door to uh, rock, blues, and real funk music from the 60s and 70s, even music going back to the 50s. Um, so really just a chance thing just kind of sparked one day for me, and um, I decided to get a guitar after that. Um, I got a like hundred dollar like combo pack off of Amazon, I think, and uh, that's what I started playing with. I sucked really bad. <laughs> it <laughs> took I, right. It, it, it took a long time, and you know, I I eventually you know started upgrading, and it just before I knew it, like I was doing music, like playing guitar is just what I did. I went from practicing to just all of a sudden I'm, I'm traveling all around, you know. The area, um, just of where I grew up and, and around the state and going eventually out of state, um, and going national. So that's kind of, I'm kind of in that process of, of doing that right now. But definitely just kind of snuck up on me. I, yeah. I don't really know where, as where a kid, it came from. As a kid, if someone would have told you, like, you're going to be, or you're going to want to be a musician, would you just, like, that's crazy. I don't really like, like, wanting to become a musician, or I don't want to do that. I'm more into sports. Yeah, I, I think that would have, yeah, I would have been, like, no way. You know, you can, you can ask, like, some of my friends, you know, that I really grew up with, you know, I think you guys know some of them, you know, like, this was really something yeah. out of left field and I, I feel like you know i i always i really thought about it i did always really enjoy music class i did really like music class i played guitar hero a lot <laughs> that, is, that probably helped too playing guitar hero i didn't even realize um but uh yeah definitely not something i would expect i wanted to like be in the nfl obviously yeah. right i mean i like, knew in high school I mean, yeah you definitely i like when i saw that you started to make music i was like this is really like completely out of bounds as to what yeah. I expected you to do. I thought yeah. you were going to try to go to college for football or something like that. Or Yeah, I thought I was too. You know, I thought I was too. Um, but I don't know. It was just something about, like, I just thought it was so, I just thought it was so cool. That's really, that's really all it was. I just thought it was something so cool. And I thought about, I'm like, yeah, nobody's, 
nobody's really playing music like that 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 that's my age playing live music i feel like and that's something i know that uh i really want to see more of you know is younger kids our age people a little older just playing more music i think would be awesome just picking up an instrument even if it's making beats you know even if it's rapping i feel like you know everybody has um the ability to make music I mean, I played saxophone in middle school, but exactly. the reason I stopped, oh, I did. There's one time, never, yeah, in one time in middle school, I actually, I actually went outside to, to practice, uh-huh. and we didn't live in, like, the best, richest neighborhood, right? <laughs> right, right, right. So I just started playing, yeah, and remember. it was bad, and it was okay. bad, obviously. And this, this guy who was, like, a little, like, cuckoo, this, like, in our neighborhood, uh-huh. he came out, and keep in mind, I'm, like, a kid at the time, right, right bro? Right. So this guy comes out, and he's, like, shut the fuck up! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I got you. <laughs> Just packed wow. that bitch up and went back inside. Uh-uh. Never practiced again. <laughs> wow, yeah, that that sucks. I'm sorry you had that experience. Shit, I really it was definitely sorry. a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. No, that's some shit. Yeah, I mean, shit. In middle school, uh, I was in band class for a little bit. Played the trombone for a little while. Mm-hmm. Um, I just ended up like not really fucking with the teacher, so I was like, yeah, I just don't feel like going this. Yeah. Way. But like, I, I fuck with music so heavy, and like, mm-hmm. I have a lot of friends that do music. Right. And so like. Like, going through, like, college and shit like that, and, like, the beginning, like, ending of high school and shit, like, we used to, like, just sit in the car and make music all night and shit. Yeah. Those are some of, like, the best vibes. So, like, how do you guys, like, get into a groove and shit, like, when you guys record? Um, I, you know, the thing about it is, is a lot of practice. It's just a lot, like, I think that's the biggest thing about music and, like, you know, like Michael said, he was just out trying to practice one day and he got fucking shit on he <laughs> yeah. got dunked on someone told him shut up you know? i remember i was really inspired to play the like i was like bro because i remember right. hearing katie perry you remember that one guy playing the saxophone in the back i was like that shit hit yeah like, i'm gonna learn that yeah <laughs> um but uh yeah just just lots of practice and um getting into a groove should be like you know it should be like a like a train you know mm-hmm. yeah, a train is consistent it's steady you know what i'm saying it takes a little bit to to get started though right so I think that's the way I think of groove is like getting just a big train started, you know, and just getting it moving down the tracks. Um, it does it itself almost. Mm-hmm. What would you say is, I guess, a major inspiration or one of the biggest inspirations you have, like when you create music, you, if you do it for a certain person, a certain thing, is it just for the love of the music? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think it's just, yeah, passion for the music. And I just want to share um, an emotion, I guess. I just want to share... Um, a message in a sense of you know just just good feelings and and it's it's hard to explain sometimes but music is like sometimes it just you have to embody it you have to try and feel it and understand it and to do that sometimes it just comes out it really just it, it really just comes out sometimes I feel okay. yeah who do you try to not maybe sound like but maybe who kind of going off of his question like is it sound like or like emulate or yeah i think okay yeah that's a that's a good question i think yeah i try to i try to emulate um i guess like james brown i, I guess is like someone like that like just an yes. overall performer you know because mm-hmm. james brown had talent he had a voice but he was also an act you know you got to be an act too because you I, I play live music yeah i'm a band i people are going to come and see me i have to be I have to be entertaining. I have to. I can't just stand there dead and play music all night, you know. Yeah. And I think yeah, someone like like James Brown, obviously Jimi Hendrix doing crazy stuff with the guitar behind the back, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, James Brown. James Brown. When you were, I don't know what your process was. Was it either people came up to you and wanted to start a band, or you kind of went out your way and I don't know maybe put an ad or just mm-hmm. asked around. And yeah. Yeah, so I started playing, I, I just kind of started teaching myself. Mm-hmm. So I taught myself, I, I didn't have any teacher or anything. It, it really was just me <laughs> wanting to, to play yeah. the guitar. Yeah, it was just really was just passion and just, I I did it from YouTube, honestly. Like if I'm being re- really honest, YouTube was my teacher. It's one of those things like, if you want to learn it, you really can. It's just all about really applying yourself, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, what did you say, though? <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering, since you said you were a performer, I wanted to know, 
if you intentively like looked out for people who oh, would right. like yeah compliment um, your way of performing or yeah they so just it came was, up to you and it just worked out yeah it was so i put out i literally met everyone in my band from craigslist so I put stuff out on Facebook. It's really crazy. It is really crazy. I put stuff out on Facebook. I had a few people, you know, hit me up, send me videos that I'm playing, you know, pretty, pretty um, mid-level playing. I, I feel, you know, kind of some mids, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, I started with a drummer a while ago. But m most recently, yeah, my, my the band we have now, uh, I met him all from Craigslist. My drummer came from I, St. Louis. Hmm. He he was moving over here from St. Louis, um, and he saw my ad. I just I just kind of put out in the ad like on Craigslist. There's like certain like words yeah. that if you put on there, people are gonna you know. Right. Obviously, I put like Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, blues. You know, certain people are gonna read that and be like, okay. I'm interested in that style, like hashtags um, and Instagram, right? Kind, kind of, right? Kind of, kind of stuff. Um, but just kind of, yeah, pure luck, literally pure luck. You know, I found a good bass player, and I've been with him for a long time. Um, so that's just just having him kind of as a backbone um, for the music. You know, the drums are kind of like the heartbeat. You know, the feet. You yeah. know, they get you moving. He's the backbone. I guess the guitar is whatever else you, know, you want it to be. Um, but really pure chance. Pure chance. Good luck, I guess. Do you guys get along really well? Like right off the bat, was it just a, like a, yeah. connect, a connection yeah. right off the bat? Yeah, definitely a connection right off of the bat of just uh, musically and just personality-wise. Yeah, they were, they're, they're real good guys and they're serious about what we do and it's, it's just a good overall, it's just a, a good time, I feel like. No, it's a really good time, yeah. How long you guys have been like together like, as a band? Um, so this this uh, um particular lineup, we've been together for about three months now. I'd say three or four months since July. So yeah, about three or four months, right? Um, and for like four or five or something, but <laughs> you know, not together that long. You know, um, we were just recently in the studio. Um, recording our album, self-titled, Jason Vargas and the Apollos. Um, hopefully should be out pretty soon. We're in the process of uh, mastering right now. So by the end of the year, for sure. Um, I think we're aiming at having maybe like a New Year's um, like release party. Yeah, yeah oh, nice. playing cool. some just some live music for New Year's, having a good time. How does your like, kind of recording or like writing of songs process go because i know it might, i'm sure it's different than like people who make beats and mm -hmm. then give those beats to someone who writes their own lyrics and make that song like that right. or is it like you guys find a, a sound that you like as well first or do you guys write it out first? yeah so um i wrote most of the songs um i started out with basic um sections i guess i, I started out with basic chords you know and i what I call changes, they're changes, you know, so changes in the music, any, any different chord, just the overall song, I show it to the band first. Um, and from there, they kind of just do, do their own parts. So we, we kind of just, I start with an overall idea. Um, and I give that idea to the guys and we all kind of contribute our piece to it. Um, so Obviously, I, I'm playing the guitar. I'm, I'm taking care of the chords and whatnot. I just let the bass and the drums feel the song and, and play really what speaks to them. I don't, we don't, we don't write out parts. You know, we we never sat down and yeah. really wrote. I mean, we had we did. Obviously, I had to sit down and really write out what the chords and were. You guys feel like that works better, just letting them feel the music and see what they feel needs to be added. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because you know, at the end of the day. I'm only one person and I only know so much. I know I can only do so much. Um, and that's why they're there is to, for it to be like a, really like a group kind of thing. It's a, it's a collective. And that's really what I feel like music is, is a, a collective, you know, of, of minds and emotion and, and spirit. It's, it's a spiritual thing. I feel music can be for sure. Uh, what was the last place you performed at? Um, the last place we performed that was um, Boz Mead Hall on East Wash. Uh, they got an awesome, awesome stage, some super awesome carpeting on there, uh, great sound system, and some really good 
some really good uh, mead. I don't know if you guys. No idea what's mead. Yeah, it's like, dude, it's like kind of like wine, but not. It's made wine. out of like honey. It's fermented with honey, so it's sweet. Really? Huh. Yeah, but it's like the texture is. Never it, heard of mead ever. It's crazy. <laughs> it's ever crazy. It's really good. Shot. It's like twelve percent. Which oh, is damn. like, yeah, right. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, you know, we felt good. It, it's it's a good feeling to play over there. You know, we got yeah. to have a little drink, you know. It was yeah. good. Enjoyed it. Um, but super awesome vibe. But, yeah, Boz Mead Hall was our, our most recent um, show. Um, we got some shows coming up in December. I think December 4th um, in some prairie at Full Mile Kitchen and Brew Company. Um, come out. Super awesome place. Check it out. Yeah, they got great food. We got drinks, you know, if you guys can drink. They're pretty good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your... Well, first off, how long have you been performing live mm -hmm. uh, to start with? And then what's been your best experience from doing live? As though, I don't know if, like, the best experience was getting... If you've ever been booed. So mm -hmm. that way you learn <laughs> to become a better performer. Mm -hmm. Or if you kind of just figured it out as you went on. Yeah. Um, okay, so... I think I'll start with the like best and maybe worst experience. I mean, the best experience is usually any show. It could really be any show, I feel like, just after any show. Um, usually just because I feel like we're, we're, we're really consistent in what we do. And, and you know, at, at this point, we, we know our sound and we know who we are. So it's really easy for us to just... Um, get into a good flow but it's not always that way you know obviously maybe um maybe just like a house show you know in someone's basement for halloween or something say like that you know just the environment can be kind of crazy sometimes yeah. a little hectic and as a performer someone who gets paid to to play at venues and 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 go places and people come to see you like sometimes it can feel a little discouraging or i can feel a little you know like, dang, I wish that could have sounded a little better. I wish, you know, just, just little things like that, I think. Um, but thankfully, I've, there hasn't, hasn't been any catastrophe yet. you never been booed on, sta booed off stage? No? no, no booed off stage. I, I practiced for, like, a few years, for, like, maybe, like, a year and a half before I started going to open mics just at bars and, and sitting in with other musicians. That's how I learned how to play, really, was oh, going okay. out and playing. I thought you just kind of just... Start getting out man. and just jump right in. <laughs> mm -mm. Like you, know, really like you were stuff. crafting for like a whole yeah. year. Yeah, for about really... a year and a half. With just the goal of, uh, I always told myself like, what I want to do with guitar is learn how to sit down and grab one anywhere and just play mm. and just have that ability. And it's it's honestly, it's not as hard to do as you would think. It's not as hard. It's just like with anything, you got to be passionate about it. You know, everybody's passionate about their own different things, you know. Yeah. I like, I, I have other passions other than guitar, but, you know, um, guitar happens to be my biggest one. And, and that's just, uh, that's just what I did for a while was a year and a half of just very dedicated and serious practice. And then looking at and, and understanding where the music came from what I was playing, who I was playing, you know, the musicians, where it came from, and, and understanding that. And I think that that was an important thing for me to do, and it taught me a lot more than I realized. You know, just because I I can sit here and name the band, song, all crazy stuff that all influenced my music in some sort of way, you know, and... and I think that was the biggest thing, and I think that's something that everybody should do, is just have, is just be open to, to different kinds of music, you know, because I'll listen to, like, Chilino Sanchez, you know, I'll put some Chilino on, maybe I'll listen to, who knows, ASAP Ferg, whatever, <laughs> who's shysty, like, whatever, you know, just put out some jazz after that, but just, just, music is connected in a lot more ways than people may realize just because it's it's kind of just a, a trickle down effect of just time and human experience really so it all kind of goes you can all trace it back you know you can really trace music back um 
and I think that was an important thing for me to do when I was playing. It was. Well, uh, what are your, I guess, your main future goals? Well, I guess, what's the next goal you want to do? What's the, the next milestone you want to achieve in music? I think the next milestone I want to achieve is really on the horizon is getting this album out. It's a reality. It's on the way. It's here. Um, I know what it sounds like, and it's it's awesome. I'm super happy with it. But I think after that, um, um, maybe just go on tour, I think, is our biggest thing. Because I think um, the music speaks for itself. Um, it's just about having a product and being able to sell ourselves pretty much and building a fan base. And that's the number one thing is having something to follow. So um, creating that music um, and really putting out that image of what we are and you can hear what we are. Not only see and it's going to be accessible everywhere. You, you'll hear it. Yeah. Um, try and get on the radio, I think, as well. Um, which it really isn't that hard. You'd be surprised to get how on the radio. One, how does one go about that? Like, I've never, like... You just got to never go to it. the radio station and give them your track and say, I want to play this. Um, it's, it's easy. You can do it on local radio. Now, how do you get on 93.1 Jams? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, like you got to be pretty good... Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's the one thing is just going to student radio, local radio, um, just, and going with your track and being like, Hey, can I play this? If it's good, they will play it. Like mm -hmm. they will play it, you know? And that's the thing is that it's all about just, uh, local support. Really. I feel like, um, just having people come out, having people, even just a follow on Instagram. Shout out the Instagram JV Apollos. <laughs> Not for sure. Um, <laughs> got, to, got to. But uh, yeah, just just having a, a base is gonna help us grow, and then from there we really go to venues and anywhere. You know, going on tour isn't that hard. Really, it's just like uh, you need a van and some places to play. And, yeah. You know, you just gotta <laughs> yeah. pick, you pick, pick where you want to go. You know, yeah. so it well. seems like you pretty much have this thing like locked in as, as to like what you want to do and oh, where yeah. you're going next. Oh yeah, yeah. That's it's it's all very calculated. You know, we play, meet, and practice all week. That's something I do throughout the week. You know, is is talk with my my bandmates about you know what where we want to go, what we want to do. You know. Um, yeah, in just regards to like the the New Year's show, for example, is is probably our biggest goal right now. Um, just because it's coming up, it's gonna be coming up pretty quick. Pretty so. quick here, yeah. yeah. So, um, just getting stuff like that done, um, and really trying to create a buzz, you know, a buzz in our city. Yeah. So that we have something to to reference to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I guess aside from music, what other like what other main hobbies do you have? What else do you like spend your time on when you're not doing music? We play a lot of Xbox. <laughs> yeah, it's like Xbox One play. X, Xbox One or Xbox One S. Yeah, yeah, the new one, PS Five too. I play a little PS Five, but I actually play a, um soccer. I actually play a lot of soccer. That's really? what I like to do. Yeah, like out just outside soccer. I've never, mm -hmm. I would have never thought that you'd be playing soccer. <laughs> I guess because he has the. Yeah, I got Liverpool. Yeah. Didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Didn't even. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just started recently doing that too. Cause my drummer played soccer, so I had someone to play soccer with. So we oh, play like valid. pick up, like it's like that ass 11, 11 Sometimes it's like thirteen on thirteen. There's just that many people. You that play show downtown up. at the. No, or like we indoor, play at um, Obrick. Oh, oh yeah, we just play pick up over at Obrick. Um, but no, I want to get into like a little indoor league though. The winter's coming up. It's like I think it's like the first season. It's like the first. Um, I don't even know how you would call it. Like the first season of the winter. Because they have like three seasons in oh. the winter. Oh, really? So the first one's going right now. So I think I'm about to get in on the second one. No, uh, did not know that. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Kiva? Kiva? Yeah, I think we I'm might. Mexican league. Though. No, so, yeah, they're crazy. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I know. My dad used to play there, man. They'll crazy. slam into you. I know. Maybe. I know. I would maybe like. Also true. Yeah, yeah. I tried yeah. playing there once. This little dude is like, I'm talking about they 40, but they. Dude, really old, get you the hit, yeah, bro. yeah, they don't play. Those old guys, 
They know what they're doing. Yeah. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, they... I, I'm not going to lie. I've been crossed a few times by <laughs> some old dudes because they really just... They know what they're doing. Yeah, they've they they been, they been playing. Like, what games you be playing on Xbox? I guess. Man, I play the new Battlefield right now. Battlefield. Ah, oh, yeah, that just came, just came out. So fire! <laughs> I got the early access over at the house, you know. So we just grinding right now. It's so good. Damn. It is pro- probably the best game I've ever played. Battlefield Forty Two. Battlefield is the only genre I have like of shooting that I've never gone into. I've played Dude, Call of Duty, Apex, and fucking Fortnite. You're missing out. Yeah. Yeah, it's that good, really huh? good. It's is, really good. They is got it just like the realism or what is it? Yeah, they got like tanks and planes and jets and shit too that you can fly. But they're good, and you can upgrade them. You know what I'm saying? But then you still got like do with the fucking RPG and shit. You know, it's, it's lit. It's How lit. big are the maps? I've heard that those maps are huge. They're so. huge, dude. They're huge. Yeah, they're really big. Like. The new, because the I'm playing it on the next gen, and the maps are huge. Like a tornado will come down, uh, and like just tornado, uh-huh. just mid. <laughs> what It'll like f- suck up <laughs> tanks and suck people up. It's crazy. Wow. Damn. Huge I storms. <laughs> like I'm flying a helicopter. I can't see in front of me. I'm like, oh shit. You know, like don't know what's yeah. going on. That's low key. Though. Yeah, I don't think Call of Duty's gone in on that. Yet. <laughs> no, Fortnite's Call of Duty's not going in that direction. No, they're no. definitely <laughs> not. Fortnite should have gone in that direction. Like they, they kind of they decided to go the kid route. You're like, <laughs> he's like, I'm good with what Fortnite has. <laughs> Fortnite's for men. Fortnite's for men. Yeah, you're tripping. <laughs> but like yeah. Call of Duty. Uh, co-player over there. Right, it's a partner kids, for kids, my guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Fortnite for kids. <laughs> yeah. for kids my guy. I mean, it's a fun game. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. Crazy. But to say I'm it's the play. man's game, yeah, to say it's, it's the game. It's fun, but he never plays with us. Yeah, I do. What do you? <laughs> I never played. I'm really bad at Fortnite. I never really? played that. You ever play Call of Duty? Yeah, I play Call of Duty, man. I've been oh, shit, who, do, who don't play Call of Duty? Dude, I haven't been fucking with Warzone just because of what they've been doing with the whole like What's, they haven't been taking care of anti. What's the new game? Mm-hmm. Uh, Vanguard. Really Vanguard. Yeah, say, just came out like. I haven't heard a lot of hype about it. That's no. I didn't. Wasn't even interested it's in World War Two. No one wants to do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Battlefield <laughs> is all future, dude. It's it is. Crazy. It's forty two. Battlefield yeah. forty two. Twenty forty two. It ain't. It ain't. You know how there's like an M four? <laughs> now it's the M five. <laughs> Five. So you know, it's next gen stuff. Next gen. Yeah, okay. You know, they different levels to this shit, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, shit. I mean, did you ever play any uh, instruments at all? Was it like none? You never played any instruments though. <sighs> I used to play a viola. I was about to say I could have sworn I was like he played an instrument. What was it? Why? Why did you bring no. that up earlier? <laughs> um. First off, I didn't really get to choose my instrument because mm-hmm. well, it was in strings and like elementary. Yeah. So they it was didn't kind let you of, choose? Well, they gave me three options. I didn't know any of them. So <laughs> I said, you choose for me. Because I, <sighs> they said, you look like a viola guy. So go ahead. That's what they <laughs> you said? You look like a viola nice. guy. I mean, he might not have done this, but he said <laughs> he looked like a viola guy. Um, and then, I mean, I didn't stick with it because the way they did it at Glendale is you play strings during, like, lunchtime slash, like, a extra what? hour at the end. Yeah, so, like, they had, like, an extra, like, my class... For I believe it was the, just the fifth grade class. It was like the last like forty five minutes of school or some shit. We would go out on like Fridays, and Fridays is the day Yo. that we had strings at that time. Damn. So I would personally skip the strings <laughs> to go play outside. Do you know what they call that? What they? Because I, I went to Frank Alice. That was Fantastic Friday, my guy. Oh, he said that they was Fantastic, fantastic Friday. Friday. I, I, I guess never guess missed. Friday. I was really bad. I was really bad. But you never missed the days in the like the class. No, nah, they try and make me sit in. I'd have to run out. Oh. I had to run out. I'm sorry. I could not. It's dude. It's fantastic. <laughs> you said the last Friday. 45 minutes of the day, yeah, but oh. the way they had it, they would have like events going on. Like, I went to, like, paper, airplane one. We folded, like, raw paper, Damn, airplanes. so y'all was just up again. There was always yeah. dodgeball. There was always dodge Or not dodge, kickball. Kickball. Damn. Always that kickball. That was that game. Yeah. Everybody was out there. Yeah, I could kickball. see that because the way the class was, too, is we had the windows open and we could see the other kids playing outside. <laughs> so hey, that's when you playing your music, like, yeah. the sad music. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, that's how I got caught. Like, so isn't that him? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be in here. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> So yeah. I had to drop that. The they were like, right. it's either you go or if you miss, we have to drop you from that class. Just drop, drop me. Like, you from the class. <laughs> drop I want to play you. outside. I'm thinking I'm in real yeah. trouble here. Just let me Did go. your school ever have like in an elementary, like, you know, those like summer events, like the water balloon things or like stuff like Because remember in Glendale, 
I, I don't remember what time for summer it was. school what no no not for summer school like in in summer like near summer we would have these events like uh with like the water summer, balloon but it's not summer school near mm-hmm. summer so it, it was near the end of the year mm-hmm at the end of the year, we would have, like, a water balloon fight oh. like, with the water and then the whole I shit. I mean, maybe it was, like, the last, like, week where it was, like, oh, teachers getting ready to pack you're up. You're not doing like, shit anyway? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, there was events. Oh. Do you remember those? <clears throat> For elementary, nah. it was, like, your kids, so we kind of just ran around. Right. Yeah, we had, like, field days and shit like that. Field days. Because Santa had it at the beginning God. of the school year. Right? Yeah, Santa had it at the beginning of the school year. Nah. Yeah, one, yeah, we used to compete and shit, go back and forth, classroom by classroom. You know. Yeah, you know. House three. <laughs> House five. Whoa. Black Hawk. I can't really. Yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> Half a year. <laughs> but uh, what did you say? What was it? I said it didn't even count. <laughs> Why didn't it count? You need some okay, other stuff. whatever. <laughs> we'll get off the topic. That's for another day. We'll save that for another day. <laughs> oh, uh, hell no. Okay. I had another question about music, and then you asked me that question. What was the question? I don't know. I forgot. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I was like ready to say, and you looked at me and said, "Wait, what about you? What kind Have of- you uh, played anywhere like outside of the state?" Um, not yet. No. Um, we've done a lot in like uh, the Dells, but mostly all around uh, Madison is Any really enough right now. Any, Any favorite venues? Um. It's a good struggle to have. Yeah, so there's too is, many to count. There's yeah. like, yeah, I'm trying to think because we played outside at the Dells on some very beautiful and like some beautiful parks. For real? Mm. Yeah, there's That's one. Impressive. There was one that was uh, overlooking the river. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. You prefer playing outside or inside venues? Outside. Yeah? Mm. Outside. Play way louder. No, that's no, true. true. Play way louder. It's really fun to play loud. Sounds better. I feel really? like, yeah. A lot. Yeah. And what kind of what kind of guitar do you play? Is it just is it a electric? Is it a what? Yeah, I play um uh, I play an electric guitar. So I play uh I'm left-handed, so I take a right-handed guitar and I flip it over and then I restring it to be left-handed. You know, like that's how Jimi Hendrix plays. So my guitar is like upside down. I got a serious question. This might sound so dumb. Is there is that the actual way to do it or is it like they sell they sell left-handed guitars. You just said fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's like it's it's like a style, you know. It's like yeah. a style to do it like What's that. What's the difference between like an actual left-handed guitar and you just restring um, it? Um, just the construction most of the time of uh, oh, because yeah. you know if I'm right-handed, I'm playing. They're this meant way. to be held. Like, right, they're meant to be held that way, but I'm left-handed, so I hold it like this. Mm, okay, okay. You know, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Kind of sucks. It's kind of hard to find guitars that I really like, because. <clears throat> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. <laughs> You're good, though. Um, it's kind of finding, like, yeah. yeah, finding nice left-handed guitars. Look, that's what happens when you smoke before. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> when you <laughs> smoke before. <laughs> Me or Coz, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, yeah, finding nice left-handed guitars is kind of a hassle. It's like... When I could just find a cool right-handed, right-handed one, one and flip it over, it's it's different to play. The controls actually get like flipped up towards me. Usually they're like farther away, mm-hmm. but on the other side of the strings, if that makes sense. So I have to reach over, but now they're on right here. So I I'm can... picturing a, a what is it? The Guitar Hero, the controller. Exactly that. <laughs> Exactly that. Do you yep. use that little, yeah. that little, you know, the... Yeah, 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 yeah. The whammy bar. It's called the, the, the technical name for it is a tremolo arm. A tremolo arm. We're going to go with the whammy bar. Whammy bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whammy bar. So, yeah, I use the whammy bar sometimes. A lot, actually. <laughs> um, it kind of, uh, it like releases the tension of the strings. So oh, is that the purpose of it? Yeah, that's the it, so because you know a guitar, mm. the strings vi- are vibrating. That's yeah. that's what it is. And there's magnets, magnetic pickups that are picking up the vibration, and they convert that to a sound. And then it gets put through uh, to the amplifier, and the amplifier like processes the sound a little more, and then it's just a speaker. Mm. Makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought, thought it was just for wowing. Acoustic, oh, I thought it was just the, like an acoustic one. That a guitar, an electric one, does not have a little, little hole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that magnets, magnets. like on the acoustic, that's like the sound hole. Yeah. The sound bounces around in there and then 
can, pops out. Can any acoustic guitar be hooked up, or does it have to have that extension cord or the, the, like the hookup to be able to? Yeah, you need a hookup. It have to be. It have to be. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> That's the only <laughs> way you, you need a, an electric pickup. I mean, there's stuff like you can get for like 15 bucks where it's like a pickup that you put in the sound hole. It like attaches around it. Right. Um. You can do that, but feel like electric's a lot more fun yeah it's a lot easier to play did you ever consider acoustic though or were you just like nah it's never gonna be oh yeah i play acoustic all the time like i practice on acoustic because it's a little harder to play the strings are usually a little bigger the neck of the guitar is usually a little bigger which can be a little harder for uh beginners and whatnot but I, I do that just to build hand strength because That's once I go to the electric, the strings are yeah. a lot smaller, mm. so it's way so easier. Yeah, it's yeah. So just just tensile strength and dexterity, I guess. <laughs> did you ever get tired from like playing at first or from playing so long? I did. I did. I actually quit for a little bit. So I played for like six months and then I quit for like eight nine months, yeah. and I and it just sat in the corner of my room and I looked at it. I was like. No, I have to finish. I have to keep. I have like I bought this. I have to like. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just yeah. being lazy. Like you know. Idea. You know. I had to finish. I had to keep going. I said, "What? Well, okay. Just, yeah." That's another question I meant to ask, but that is <laughs> that is another great question that I could have asked. No, but what I meant was like, did your hand, your like your literal hands, oh. ever get like tired of playing? Get tired? Like you oh yeah 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 oh yeah they would get tired. Calluses not really anymore. Because my fingers are just used to the, you know, mm. playing it. So oh, you would get calluses from playing before? I yeah, I like kind of, yeah. It's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, Especially it's like still, attention. it's still strings. Yeah. Like, it'll mess your hands up a little bit, but. You ever had a string break on you? Yeah, had, it sucks. It's so bad. I had a cousin who used to play guitar, and he said that he did that shit. And he gave us a guitar, that's why I didn't touch it. Because the string broke? Cause just old strings. To me, so I'm not gonna do it. That was yeah. a decent guitar too. We totally should have just fixed it. Yeah, it's totally. But it's <laughs> just gonna hurt. It's Pretty easy. Yeah. Easy. Couldn't get hurt. No. Okay. Um, well, I mean, is there anything else you guys wanted to talk about? Anything else you guys you wanted to cover before? How'd you meet Michael? High school. Yeah. Right, but like a class, just saw him in the yacht and like the hallways. I don't think yeah, they just saw him. It, it like, must have just oh, been yeah. football. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, it was football. It was football. It was football. It was football. This fucking sure. guy. Yeah. Fuck you, like we're like, in a class. No, it was football. Yeah. You enjoyed football though, because you got I to play. Love, <laughs> I love football. <laughs> <laughs> you get to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was fun. Man, you just had to play defense, bro. I played, it's a lot easier. Like I didn't know how to play the sport when I started it's playing. That's the thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's yeah. That can that can be a problem. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't know how to play, but you are a player. Like. And the thing is, time. you had yeah. somebody in varsity that didn't even know how to play the game all the way. It's like, right. Why, you should have just put oh me in JV. <laughs> right. They could have had you suit up. Could have been out there smacking fifteen year olds. Bow. Fifteen year olds. Like, like, wow. like, freshmen <laughs> just whack them, bro. <laughs> Sophomores just yeah. That's, That's what right. JV was about, dude. <laughs> Should have done that. Thanks for that. I don't know. I mean, they wanted me in varsity. I was like, bad. I, I got this. this right, 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 right. They didn't know to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> you don't realize it. You don't want to get hit by somebody that often. <laughs> like, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Don't get hit. Yeah, don't get hit. dude. Don't get That's hit. why I said play or defense because I'm the one hitting. So, say, like, I'm good. Hit like, hit. boom. Right. <laughs> exactly. boom. Yeah. Let's... What are your tattoos? What. You know, what kind of oh, significance does it have? Um, my tats really don't have any significance, you guys, if I'm being honest. Really? Yeah. Why did you choose your hand over, like... I don't know, because uh, I had a friend. They were like, hey, I'm going to do stick and poke. Do you want a stick and poke? I was mm. like, yeah, why not, right? Mm. She's like, where do you want it? I don't know, my hands. Like, <laughs> why not hand tats, hurt? right? Oh, it hurt bad. I was going to say, that shit had It to sucked, hurt. like, because you're... It's slower, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, because it's stick and poke. Mm-hmm. Like one by one. Yeah, it kind of sucked. I got it done over with with the tattoo gun actually. So. Oh, so. Yeah. You but, have any others? Um, no, these are the only ones I got actually. Damn, I was really yeah. hoping to be like, yeah, I got a huge back. <laughs> I know. I was hoping he's not gonna drag it on my back. back. Should I? So like, old. should I? Man, I man, I, I, I fuck with tattoo. Get tatted up. Yeah. That would be that would be raw. That'd be dope. That would be raw. But like, great fuck with tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. Tattoos just get. My whole body. 
I don't know. Nah, just... <laughs> <laughs> like, like if that's what you were going for, I wouldn't even stop you. Man, I, mean, shit, I don't think I could handle that. That's way too. Not much. only that, but like, what would you, you fill up your whole body with? You know? I mean, you could get a couple of really big tattoos. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, fill up this. This could be two tattoos. You could get this on your back. That would low-key be raw. Yeah, you could. You, you, could. you fuck with the black. Yeah, yeah dude. dude I that's like sad. Dragon Ball, dude. I like Dragon. We Ball. got other uh, like this one. This is the fucking Super Saiyan Goku. Oh, though. nice. Right, right, right. And I don't know if you watch One Piece. That's what that is. Yeah, I watch a little One Piece. One Piece is pretty good. My roommate watches a lot of One Piece. That shit hits. If you don't watch yeah. it, you should watch that shit. Okay. I know. There's so much to watch, though. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, if there's... It's worth it, though. It really is. I, in, my, in my opinion, it's way better than Dragon Ball Z. So and cool. I was the biggest fan of Dragon Ball yeah, Z. Yeah, Dragon Ball... I love you, Dragon Ball, but... Get some better writing or something. Like. <laughs> it's just fighting. I mean, that's what yeah, it is. Right? That's, all they do. that's why everybody likes it. But, yeah, it's hands, basic. It's basic <laughs> right? He it's said hands. it's hands. Yeah, but, yeah it really it's is. Like, action. It is, yeah. Um, but I mean, is there any the closing notes that you wanted to say? Anything? Where can the we camera? get your music? Where? What should we shout out for you? Um, music is gonna be everywhere. Um, very soon. Just follow us on Instagram, uh, Facebook for updates. You know, um, it'll be everywhere. Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud. If you like SoundCloud, do they just look up for Jason and the Apollo? Yeah, Jason Vargas and the Apollos. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All right. So what we like to do is just one phrase or something you want to say to the camera, just a sentence, something to inspire the kids. We just. Uh, oh man. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we put no, it's not allowed for kids when we upload the video. <laughs> you know, I didn't um, know that. <laughs> well, otherwise you can't close it and keep listening to it. It's one of those weird. It's just, uh, just it's a hmm. logistics. Um, I mean, kids probably should stay away from us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about some shit on here that like I don't think you know kids are really be listening to right now. YouTube kids? No, <laughs> nah, probably not. <laughs> um, no, you guys put me on the spot. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> maybe just uh, listen to music every day. Maybe something like that. Okay. Make it that'll make your life a lot better. Actual. Make your life a lot better. If you don't listen to music, just listen to music every day. Well, but really listen. listen. To music, you're kind of a boring person. Though. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah if you, don't you know, there's music. some people who just don't listen to music, but it's like, if you do listen to music, maybe extent. maybe really listen to the music and expand, yeah, expand, yeah, really expand. Listen. Really, really listen. listen. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, yeah, it's, <laughs> a, it's an art at the end of the day. It really is an art. Most music, you know. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, on that note, uh, check out uh, in the fucking comments <laughs> and the like button. I was like, how am I going to close this one out? Uh, everybody's links will be down below if you want to check out the other videos. Uh, we're going to put them at the end of the, uh, the end of this video. We're going to have an actual outro this time, so we're going to try that out. Uh, check out Jason. Check out everybody's social media. We'll have his stuff down there. And uh, on that note, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Look out in the distant sand. Where the moon meets the sea and I, I love